2000 Opel Speedster. Overview. The Speedster is first of all a super light, minimalist race car for the street, with as few concessions to weight as possible. Its nominal weight, according to Opel, is a mere 945 kilograms, and that includes 75 kilograms for an average driver. So what we're talking about here is a two-place car that weighs only about 2,100 pounds ready to go out and kick some butt. The chassis is constructed of bonded, extruded aluminum, and the body is made of bonded composite panels with fiberglass reinforcements. The Speedster package is a tidy one, 149 inches long overall, on a 91.7-inch wheelbase, 67.2-inch wide and only 44-inch tall. With a front track of 57 inches and rear track of 58.6 inches it rides on Bridgestone Potenza P175-55R17 fronts and P225-45R17 rears, not too tall, not too fat, just right for this application. The Speedster comes with a transverse mounted all-alloy Opel 2.2 liter 4-cylinder engine with 16 valves. Coil on plug ignition and a FED8 produces 147 bhp at 5,800 revolutions per minute and 152 pounds to foot of torque at 4,000 revolutions per minute, in the same neighborhood as a Mazda Miata engine, but numbers that might been sneered at were it not for the car's lightweight. Opel says 0 to 60 miles per hour comes in just 5.9 seconds, with a top go of 130 miles per hour, but it's an engine built for European high speed running perfectly capable of making the car do the things we like to do with cars. It has a wonderful growl, lots of guts, and it's mated to a transaxle that really works well in terms of gearing and shifting. And, of course, since it's so close to your ear and your rear, the engine's presence is about double what it would be in a conventional car.